okay now family we are all ready all properly properly done and hey everybody how y'all doing <clears throat> are you hey okay in your neck of the woods what up what up manners and respect man hi your girl debbie from donga yard welcome you all to the jamaican kitchen welcome once more it is the jamaican cooking journey all of you are new right on over here let me give you a let me extend to you a special welcome and thank you so very much those of you who are there with me from the beginning on oh, no, no, the drill manners and respect now today this little video is like ex um, sharing with you those who are jamaicans you might forget it i don't know how much you can get it in a foreign and also those of you who love who like or love the jamaican cuisine i want to share with you something that we do so much in jamaica it's easy to be done and it's really loved it can go for your thanks on your thanksgiving breakfast table your christmas breakfast table and also most times we do it on a sunday at home for breakfast okay when you are having thanksgiving dinner at your house or christmas dinner when you're hosting that event it's a lot of work on you therefore the dinner the dinner thing always hectic so for me I, when when I was doing it back in the days, I but I wouldn't sit there again. Hello, please. I'm just bringing you on in this. Okay? You have got to let the breakfast have a little var a variety of different things, but make them be things that are easy to prepare. You get what I'm saying? Because if you're tired out yourself from breakfast time, when dinner time comes, you're going to pop down. You're going to be so tired, you won't be able to focus. Okay? And following the, this, I'm going to be bringing in... In between some other little videos or you can get some breakfast ideas get going and if you are watching and you just want to know what I'm gonna do and you can't wait and you want to click off you can just click off okay but I think my real supporters they are okay with me so as I was saying you want to have little things for breakfast that are enticing real nice easy to prepare so I am going to bring to you my Jamaican peeps and all of you want a Jamaican but don't love the Jamaican cooking journey food. I'm going to show you how you can prepare some sprat. Hello, how they do? Hi, when last one I see them here? Do you get the, I know I'm not supposed to get the menu. So today we are going to be preparing some fried sprat. And when it's through, I'll show you what you'll serve it up with. Now, these sprats, they are fresh as you can see. Night number go, go in the good call steel sprats. From you look at these, you see that these are fresh. Look inside of them, you can see that they are fresh. So you want to get them all cleaned. I had them all, I got them from my from the fish people. They clean them, then do them, but me still refine them. So I had them in a little vinegar and lime juice soaking. Now I've rinsed them and they are there draining. They must be dry. Okay. Right on over here. We we'll have my pot with Jesse with some oil and I'm going to turn my flame up. I'm going to be flavoring that oil with some garlic. Just a few pegs of garlic flavoring the oil. No. Okay family, the camera got cut off so we had to restart. Now the fish, you know when you start to fry the fish inside the house how it goes. <clears throat> I, all, I often said to people, Get a huge container. This is a reasonable size. This is not really huge, but if you have something bigger, you can get it. Something even on the wider side, fill it with some water. Get it filled with water. You can use some vinegar, plain vinegar, or if you have, you know, those fragrance things that you use to mop your floor. So I'm going to be doing a little of this in mind. Just do that. Okay? So with that being said there right now, you will leave it. And when you start frying the fish, this will absorb all that fishiness so you won't have any problem with your curtains and your 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 your, your, or your drapes and your sheet and whatever okay even if you have your range with something up ahead you can see because sometimes you have it up there and they still smell of fish so this is it so you see may i go do my fish so i have mine right here okay when you are through so we'll drop on the floor when you are through 
you just need to throw that out. That will never be able to absorb any more flavor of the kind, any odor that you don't want. That will never be able to do it again. You have got to set fresh one. As soon as it absorbs this one here that we're doing, it will not be able to do any more again. You'll have to throw that out if you're gonna do anything that is gonna make the all smell up. You have to use a fresh one. This works well. Whether with the vinegar or any fragrance of your choice that you want your house to smell fresher. Okay? That was a little bit, a little bit talkative, yeah. But that's how it goes. We want to do the right thing. It's not all about cooking. It's all about sharing other things. The kitchen is not about cooking only. It's about other things that goes with the cooking. Okay? And if that is so, family, you all who are listening or are watching me, please to say something about that. These are real, real, real um, information that people just need, you just need to share with. And you can share with me too. Now our oil is over here being preheated and our garlic is here. We don't want it for burning. We just get it fry off and that it take the flavor. Now we are getting into the meat of the matter. All we are going to do with these, this prat, we are going to use a little salt. Yeah. And I want it to be in right on this with me. I don't want an all purpose, no, no jerk seasoning, no nothing. Okay? Them names sprat. They are just fish. So I'm going to be using just a little salt and some black pepper to season them. But what you want to do, you want to have them properly dried. You flame up. <clears throat> so you want to dry them. Have another plate. We are going to get them all dried. And we are going to put them on the plate and come back to you while our oil is being preheated. Okay, now family, my oil is over here. It's almost hot to how I want it. Dry my fish them, sprat them. So you just want to get a little bit of this thing here. Bit black pepper and your salt. You just sprinkle a little up inside here so. And you just massage it. Just this. You don't want anything else on it. And I'll show you as you go along. Right inside our oil here. And the oil reasonable hot. Reasonable. That's, that's a real. That's a real thing. You don't want it any more hotter than that. You know? To have it splashing up all over. So you just put a little black pepper. You don't need to remove these little, little sticks. You, know? you don't know to need to remove these. These are just as they are. These are good. Okay? So you put them how you want them in the oil. And you're going to fry them from side to side. Now, some people might want to ask me, Debbie, how long should I fry for? I can't say. You're going to fry on one side until it's properly, properly fried. Meaning crispy, not brown. Because not, if you get them brown, they will be burned now. You're going to get them crispy. When you come to turn them, I'll show you. If them not if them not turn easily, it simply means that they are not ready. When they are ready, and you put your spatula or whatever under it, you for it will just lift and you'll put it over. Okay. So go and put in some more. Leave them to fry, and when they're ready to turn from one side to the other, I'll come back and show you that. Okay, now family, look at this. They are ready to turn. Maybe not all of them. So you come with your spatula. And you want to push it under. Just look at what I'm doing. Okay, hold on. This one is ready to turn. You will see how it just flips over easily. If you come and you're putting your spatula or your fork or whatever under it. And it's not turning. See it flips? It's not ready because you want it to be fried crispy. Let me turn another one for you. Look at these. These two. These three. They are ready. And as easy as that. They are ready to turn. Come on girl. Could you shoot them up? And this is the color that they are supposed to have. Yet they are supposed to be well crispy. So look at me now. I'm going to be frying off all of these that I have here in batches. Okay? So when you see me next, you will see all of them fry off. Now, I am putting together here a little pickle. Well, it's like a little regular pickle. It's not like the cured one for the escovied fish. We use onions, we use um, peppers, and we use a little vinegar and a little bit of sugar. That little troops of troops of sugar is just to balance out the acidity of the, the, the peppers and the vinegar. So look here, me I go finish fry up all of them there. And when me you see me again, me I go show you how me I go put this little thing here together. Eh? Okay now family, I'm through. 
we're through these are what we have this is how they're supposed to look hi you saw them crispy and nice this is how you do that look here hello please look at them you saw them just cock up yeah look at them you saw them just cut them fry till them just stiff and then just cock up so yeah and then just bossy they're saying to you that i am ready to be eaten that is how nice crispy jamaican fries spread now right on over here and let me tell you you leave these to cough to cool openly don't cover them leave them to cool openly or else they're gonna get saggy you know want them saggy you want when you have bite down in them you get that crispiness there you saw them look okay now we have gone ahead and we have rinsed some onions and we have some um peppers and we have a little bit of um pimento seed we don't need no carrot and all them something because this is not an escovitch this is just a regular little pickle so we're gonna put in about that about three tablespoon or two and a half tablespoon of white vinegar if you have um the apple cider you can go ahead and you're gonna be using like one level tablespoon of granulated sugar brown sugar it doesn't really matter and you're gonna put it in there mix it around stir it around a little bit no salt you don't need no salt in there and you're gonna cover it you've got to cover it because this thing is strong with the vinegar and the peppers and the onions and the pimento seed let it be properly covered properly covered and you're going to leave it on the medium for about seven minutes come in about one or two times to stir it around and when we return we'll be having this on a serving platter and we're going to put the little pickle on the top and we'll show you all where we eat it with the my jamaica what do you know about jamaican fried sprat tell me about it in the comment section soon come okay now family we are all ready all properly properly done and properly present where well, i'll be presenting to you from my kitchen to yours from my jamaican kitchen to your to your kitchen to your family table to your plate and most of all to your stomach it's jamaican fry sprat you saw me i did it from scratch what we serve it up with in jamaica ardo bread butt up your white ardo bread and your sprat and take it up. what do you know about that all you my jamaicans all you long time don't know come a yard for a long time when last you eat that this is good this is okay you just come you take up your sprat you take up your pickle and come um family i've just to try and cut this video short camera camera girl she you know she wears tested glasses so she really her eyes them she really can manage the pickle of such so please do enjoy this is good for your um your thanksgiving breakfast your christmas morning breakfast table and let me tell you you can do it from the night before you can do it ahead of time this is how they must look with the the the, 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 the onion and the peppers on the top and your bread and your busy tea and your chocolate tea and your milo and your coffee and also your mint tea feel free please do enjoy once more um, remember to like, share, subscribe. Remember to leave your comments below. So principled and so decent. I ask you, so no like the foul, let me know. No worry yourself. I don't done. I just have come. Remember to, when you do subscribe, remember to hit the bell. So you will always be a member of the post notification crew. Today's post notification shout out, it goes to Melinda Edwards. Melinda, big up yourself. I know somebody I look at now. I don't know if it's you in Melinda. I said, Debbie, I, the fly, you know the fly, them get busy on this. Debbie, please give me two slices of bread and two ice sprat. Please do enjoy. From my kitchen to yours. Debbie from Dunga Yard, bless. No stress.